Welcome to the world of defence, science and technology. If you work in a small to medium-sized enterprise and you're interested in science and technology, we want to work with you. The small business sector is the engine room for uh, the Australian economy. It's a source of innovation, of creative thinking, new technology and flexibility. And we see it as a, as a significant source of, of potential solutions for our future ADF requirements. Craig Rogers is the program lead of the Small Business Innovation Research for Defence, or SBIRD program. SBIRD is a program under the Next Generation Technologies Fund. And it's really there it's for uh, engagement under a specific theme and it enables DST to engage with small to medium enterprises in small scale projects. The research topic chosen for this SBIRD focuses on autonomous aerial systems. The Australian Defence Force uses remotely piloted fixed wing aircraft for tactical surveillance operations. Under the SBIRD program, Defence is seeking proposals from Australian small businesses to contribute to the development of adaptive camouflage for uninhabited aerial systems, or UAS. What we're seeking to achieve is uh, management uh, of the, uh, the, the visual spectrum and the acoustic spectrum of these platforms so that they are actually harder to see and harder to hear. Physicist Vivian Wheaton is a platform signature specialist with the Maritime Division at DST. There are several uh, ways in which you can see a fixed wing aircraft in the sky. Sometimes the sun will be glinting off it, it will shine. Sometimes the sun will be behind it, it will be silhouetted against the sky. Sometimes um, the colour will simply be wrong for the sky. What's DST looking for in the way of technology ideas to address this problem? We can make any number of systems that can, we can change the look of the platform. However, what we really want to see is a system that intelligently does it itself. That, so a system that can sense what it needs to do and then do it itself without us having to intervene. In the darkness, there is no visual signature. We cannot see anything. So the only way to detect presence of UAV in the area is to detect acoustic signals. And that still is the most important issue for UAV operation. Alex Skortsov is a principal scientist in the Maritime Division at DST. He specialises in acoustic signatures. The sound is a wave radiated by some surfaces. So that's why all vibrating surfaces on UAV produce sound. For instance, vibrating engines, vibration of wings, propeller, and even flow around the body of UAV will produce a sound wave that can be detected in the far field. We may not be able to silent it completely, but we may to change radiated sound in a way that is less detectable in the far field. With this topic, applicants only need to provide a proposal against one of the aspects, either visual or acoustic, not both. The program will be conducted in two stages. Stage one focuses on research into the technical feasibility of an innovative idea or technology with funding of up to $100,000 each over a six to nine month period. Successful applicants from stage one may be invited to progress to stage two. The focus of stage two is on testing the selective innovative idea or technology with funding of up to $750,000 each over one to two years. SBIRD is an exciting way of, of engaging with, uh, with defence. The outcomes of the program have the potential to really filter through and become real game changers in capability for the ADF. I'd strongly encourage you, if you've got thoughts or ideas around the particular topics that come out through SBIRD, give them a real good go because the potential for the SBIRD program is really significant in terms of outcomes. For more information about SBIRD, search for the Defence Innovation Portal. From there, click on the Next Generation Technologies Fund. You'll find SBIRD details under Current Next Gen Tech Fund Research Opportunities. Thanks for watching. We look forward to working with you here at DST.